Hi, my name is Claire Stokolosa. I'm an artist and I'm here just to tell you a little bit about myself. I thought it would be interesting to kind of give a little synopsis of my CV, my practice, my artist statement in this little video. So I have a studio in Long Island City in Queens. It's in Astoria where I was born and raised. It's funny because my father came with his parents and settled in Astoria from the Lower East Side. He's Ukrainian, actually first generation, and is from downtown. And we have lots of fun stories about that. He met my mom, who is a first generation Italian from the Bronx. They met in Manhattan at work at the VA. He was in World War II. I'm mentioning these things because I think my childhood greatly affected my life and affected my artwork in a positive way. So I wanted to bring that into this. And it's funny now that I'm living in Bayside, where the commissary was that my parents used to go shopping at, you know, because my father was a vet. I feel like I went full circle and my art studio is in Long Island City and some of my friends said I came back home. But it's it's just interesting because it's just Queens, right? It's, it's not that big, but, you know, I guess the world shrinks as you get older, but it seems so big and far away when I was much younger. I paint in a lot of different mediums, do most of my work in watercolor. I have a linear style which is made up of my ink drawings, my sketches that I do on site. I enlarge them. I have a process where I work with a printer and enlarge the ink drawings onto watercolor paper. This started with my New York City Faces series, which was kind of an anthropological study of people and how they interact. It was really mind-opening and really switched up my practice quite a bit. I enlarge them onto watercolor paper and paint them in my studios and I've extended this practice into my drawings that I do as I travel. Really feel it's something that's really speaks to me. I also work in a classic style. I, I do a lot of outdoor painting, plain air painting and watercolor. I take my paints. I work in acrylics and oils but it just find it very easy to bring my watercolors with me. They're just like an extension of who I am. I paint a lot on site. I paint at home too. I like to do a lot of still lifes and I feel that I capture objects. I capture almost like people and portraits in the objects I paint. And I, I do call le donne, which is uh, in Italian is the women. The women in their daily lives, a study of just women and their roles. I had a show of that up at Brigua College. My grandparents were immigrants on both sides, farmers, I guess, <laughs> moving to the city. And I feel that the customs have really influenced who I am. My one grandparent that I knew was my grandmother, my Ukrainian grandmother, who came here when she was just a kid on her own. And she had some stories. I just remember all the traditions and her cooking and the art around us. In that venue, there was always photographs. She always had photographs, not really art in her house, but some formal photographs that I felt gave Gave me that connection to doing portraits. And as far as growing up in my house, well, we had small prints from the five and ten, if you know what a five and ten is, <laughs> of Monet's and, you know, religious statues, you know, on the dresses in the bedroom. But that really influenced my life. And as I became older and my siblings who were older than me started doing art, and I always created, since I'm a very young child, created art and little sculptures out of dough. <laughs> so everyone was was always cooking, either making pita hair or uh, pierogies or pasta or whatever <laughs> around me. It just definitely had an influence on who I am. I was fortunate to have a career in art and to teach. Worked with a lot of different organizations and tried to bring as much as I could to my students and I really enjoyed it. I just figured what a better way than to tell a little bit about myself than in just a video. You can check out more on my website, on my social media. You could see some of my work, some of my talks on QHS, Queen's Historical Society. I did a talk for them for an event and fundraiser and I also did a something for the libraries on being a New York City, a Long Island City artist. Check out my YouTube. <laughs> I have a lot on there. I, I did a series, a uh, stay-at-home series. I set up a home studio during the shutdown in 2020. Got me through it. When going out, I, you know, they discouraged us from going to our studios, even though they were private, just, you know, going into the space. 
So a lot has happened, but I stayed active. I did a lot during 2020. I continue to. I was very fortunate to work with a local community to show my work and to show it in Bayside because I don't often get to do that. And they were so gracious to give the space and it was very exciting. I've had a show in Rome, which I'm really fortunate. That was a while back and I'm in a gallery in Cortona, Italy, Gallery Nationale. And I continue doing my craft and sharing my work and looking for venues, check me out and have fun. Make some art. Just have a great day. Take care. Bye.